Okay, today I have to do a little work on my 2020 Harley Davidson Tri Glide, which includes uh, removing uh, and reinstalling the front forks. So, this video is just going to be about uh, removing and reinstalling the front forks. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, I bought a valving uh, suspension product from DK Custom called Intimidators. And as uh, you notice right there, it says 49. HD, uh, which I imagine is in reference to 49 millimeter shocks and Harley Davidson, because uh, intimidators are made uh, for each individual bike. Uh, they're not all one size fits all. Uh, they take uh, into they calculate all this weight and everything else about your bike, and and so they make them specially for uh, your bike. So, like I say, it's not an all around, just throw them in there type of thing. Okay, let's go on inside here and uh, start jacking this tri-glide up and start getting to the uh, front forks. All right, I have the jack in spot and all I have to do is jack it up to make the front wheel come off the ground. Do that pinch bolt and then pull it, drop the wheel. Okay, you think I could normally use a one fourth all the way around? Think I could get that thing to fit in there? No, it won't fit in there. So I had to go to a six millimeter. Six millimeter, not a one fourth. So. Okay, tried to get the wheel out, forgot, got the axle out, but you got to take the calipers off first, both sides, before the wheel will clear to come out. All right. Let's pull this wheel out of here and uh, take this shop and uh, get the, uh, the valve stud replaced. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the forks off myself and then I'm going to take them down to the shop and have them take them all apart uh, and put them back together because I don't want to do it. Uh, I've done it before. Uh, the hard part is, you know, compressing that spring back on there and putting that plug back on there and getting it screwed in. And it can be kind of dangerous. And I just, I just don't want to do it anymore. So I'm just going to take it down to the shop where they have all the tools and they can just do it down there. And when they're done, I'll go down there and get it and uh, bring them back and reinstall them uh, on my motorcycle. Okay, next up will be removing the uh, so-called dash panel. I'm going to remove that screw. That's this thing right here. Uh, I'm gonna, there's a bolt there, and there's uh, one on the other side. I'd rather call it the accessories switch panel, but the, it is known as the dash panel. I'm going to undo those and then pull this guy out. I'll have to turn the steering wheel to get it out. All right, here she comes, and she's out. I had a hard time getting it out of there. Uh, actually, it's pretty difficult, and most likely because I have a tank lift kit on here, and this clearance is pretty close right here. Uh, so that's probably why it was so difficult uh, to get out. But I had to get it out so I could get access to the pinch bolts, uh, upper and lower pinch bolts on both sides. But uh, yeah, the, this was a dummy plug here. Uh, nothing plugged into it because I got no accessories hooked up to this side. But I had to, you had to get underneath it. You couldn't quite get underneath it to, to lift the tab up to pull it out. And then on this side here, uh, the, the tab was on the side and it just popped off. And these are hooked up to my cool flow fan. 
and uh, my auxiliary uh, headlights. And I had to bring the unit out this side, the left side, because the right side wouldn't go the right side because this big uh, piece right here, but again, it was probably just because I had this tank lift kit on there. Okay, so these fender bolts are giving me a bad time. And they are just really stuck in there, coming out real slow. And uh, these over here are just actually clicking. As you see if I can get it to click for you. Oh, anyway, they're coming out really hard. So I'm gonna try to spray it with this uh, silicone heavy duty spray, see what happens. Got the fender out, stuck it off to the side here. The bolts were like, I don't know, what they call it, uh, Loctite under with white, and I sprayed some of that stuff on there, and uh, I tightened them up a little bit more, and then they went in, and then, yeah, they came right out after I sprayed that silicone on there, silicone lube. And so I just wanted to show you uh, what these uh, intimidators look like on the inside here. There's one, and then there's two. And this is kind of what they uh, look like right there. They got the uh, oil orifices in the back like that. And they got a, a secondary circuit that opens up when you hit something real hard. Okay, next thing I got to go in and crack those two guys right there loose. And... Uh, Crack this guy loose right here. Okay, just in case this fork comes tumbling down, it'll hit this step right here and stop it from mashing in the ground. But the, yeah, the uh, pinch bolts were rather loose. I was kind of surprised about how loose they were. The bottom ones were loose, and that top one up there was loose. Didn't take much effort at all to undo them. Got the right side out. I uh, loosened all those uh, pinch bolts and she stayed in place. They were all pretty loose and I just wiggled her. No problem, she came sliding right out. And this is the left side. We're gonna go after these three pinch bolts, one there. And, uh, well, I know the other one. Oh, there they are. Way down low down there, see them? Right there. there. Two pinch bolts. Uh, one and two. All right. Okay, so I put my official Harley Davidson tank cover on so I don't, well, I'm trying to get those pinch bolts loose. Watch this. The other ones weren't very tight. Nope, see, just barely. I'm gonna loosen that guy all the way up. Okay. Get in there. There we go. There we go. Got it. Right. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, see that wasn't very tight either. Okay. I had to get a now on now on head here, and uh, I'm gonna loosen it slowly. I had to get an Allen wrench to get this pinch bolt off because the steering damper rod was in the way, and I couldn't get a ratchet in there or extension or a socket on there because it kept putting pressure on the rod. So I just ended up getting this uh, Allen wrench to finish it off. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's coming up. Uh-oh, I'm choking. Down. Okay, got them both out. Gonna take them down to the shop and have them rip into them. All right. So uh, I just wanted to show you where they go in reference to your springs. Uh, now, you know, you got to drain the oil, of course. Uh, there's different ways of draining the oil. But anyway, when, basically all you, you got to do is... Uh, 
in my case, my forks, you have to actually uh, take the forks apart and drain them all. And some of them have a, a drain valve nut or bolt in the bottom where you can drain them. But I want all the oil out of these things uh, so I get fresh new oil. And OEM oil is a 20 weight. And uh, these uh, intimidators uh, take a 10 weight oil. All right, I just got my shocks back from the shop. Took them in there at 11.30 and they were done at uh, four o'clock. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Before I took the shocks off, I made a note of how high above the top opening the top of the shock was. So when I put them back together, I made sure it was in the exact same spot and then I tightened up the pinch bolts. <sighs> After I got the fender bolts on I, uh, and secured, I had to go back and get some Loctite and pull out each one individually and put some Loctite on there and then uh, reinstall uh, them and then torque them down. And this last fender bolt that I'm putting on there is actually for a, a mount for my GoPro that attaches to the uh, the fender mount there. And I, I had to position it just right so uh, when I'm riding that the GoPro sits just in the correct position to take pictures from that angle. And I'm kind of curious, I got 22,000 miles on the motorcycle, and I'm just kind of curious to see how dirty, dark, maybe, that uh, the oil itself was. But anyway, uh, here's, here's where they go. You uh, basically pull your plug, pull your spring out, and then you drop one of these guys down in there like so, drop it in there like that. And uh, then you put your spring back on top of it, and, uh, and then you put your plug back on. So that's where they sit, uh, right there. Uh, it's a, like I say, it's a, a valving suspension product, and I'm anxious to see uh, how they work. I imagine they work pretty good, but. Uh... Got the wheel back, and we're just gonna stick it in here. And uh, hook it all back up. Well, hopefully. Back on. 
go down more, Jack. And everything went together pretty good and right here I'm just messing around with the uh, front brake ABS uh, sensor and at this point I'm just reinstalling the spacer on the right side and then sliding the axle through. Both left side and the right side calipers went on real nice. I did not have to spread the, uh, the brakes at all. They just slipped right back on there. So I carefully slid the dash panel back in and plugged in the dummy uh, plug and then I plugged in the other accessory plug. And this is just me finishing up the product here, screwing uh, the left side in and the right side in. She's all back together. And we are just gonna... 